All hail the Clicks crew. We're taking a look at the day one unboxing of the uh, pre-release unboxing for Captain America and the Avengers Hero Click set. Uh, that was the last upload. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to see what was pulled and you want to see it uh, in unboxing format, make sure to check out the YouTube card now for that. Uh, pretty exciting unboxing. Got a bunch of good stuff. Um, and uh, definitely happy to have it. Uh, so uh, we're just going to give a uh, brief look at all these figures. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, this for each day of the unboxing. I got three days worth of unboxing, so there's going to be three of these follow-ups uh, taking us all the way to release day, at which point I'll have a case unboxing, a brick unboxing, and some other cool stuff for you. And then we'll also be doing a full set review. So this is not like the set review. This is just me uh, talking about the figures that were pulled. So uh, we're just going to go... Uh, there's no real order in these, uh, it's just the order that they're in the card stack. Mr. Clicks Flicks is brought to you by Lucky Dice Cafe out of Huntsville, Alabama, home of the RSC. No matter if you're in the United States or around the world, Lucky Dice Cafe has the winning role for all your gaming needs. You can visit them at LuckyDiceCafe.com or on their Facebook page using the link found in the description of this video. Mr. Clicks Flicks is also brought to you by Trollandtoad.com, one of the largest online gaming retailers. Use the promo code Mr. Clicks Flicks for 5% off your HeroClix order today. So first one we're going to take a look at is Black Knight. Uh, he's a rare. Looks pretty cool there. Uh, a little basic, but I mean, Black Knight's character design. Was, uh, I mean, this is true to the character design, which is really all I ask. Uh, so here he is with um, that. Uh, so he's got Master of Evil, Scientist, and Spy Keywords. Uh, he's got that Assembled Bolts and Masters. So... Uh, gets a bonus if you are uh, got either a plus 3 or a plus 6 theme team. Uh, he's got this cool trait where it's uh, opposing characters with uh, tiny, giant, or colossal modified tag. Minus 2 when attacking Black Knight. Um, in today's game, that's actually pretty helpful. You're very likely to use that. Uh, and then he's got uh, special on his attack, which is uh, free. Choose a standard attack power. Black Knight can use the power until your next turn. Opposing characters within range that can use the standard power chosen by Black Knight modify attack minus one. So if you choose Penetrating Psychic Blast, um, any opposing character um, that's within range uh, that can use that um, gets minus one attack, which is good. So pick power is good. Negative uh, stat modifiers is good. And then if he's playing against uh, somebody with uh, any of those uh, damage symbols uh, and he picks a power, then it's realistically a minus three to attack, which is super solid. Um, Master's Veal team ability, three damage without wits, pretty good. 11 attack with that special is pretty good. For 65 points, this guy's not bad. I, I do like him. Uh, is he game breaking? No, but I, I like this guy a lot. Uh, I feel like in constructed, uh, not necessarily like competitive or anything like that, but I feel like you're going to get a lot of use out of that. Uh, trait versus the different sizes. He's got the flight ability for that taxi. Pick a power. I'll win. I'll win in my book. Uh, next is Nuke. And he's back here. Uh, just kind of him. Uh, I seem to recall a comic like this where he's got the American flag painted on him. And uh, here we'll get a little closer so that you guys can maybe see that. There we go figure out how that works um where he's got the flag painted on him biting a knife uh so this guy's uh, not too bad i played against him in uh pre-release um so he's got this uh assemble bolts and masters trait which we know about he's got this uh dog eat dog and eye for an eye free choose uh choose nuke or an adjacent friendly character modify the chosen character's attack and damage values plus one this turn at the end of the turn uh Chosen character takes one unavoidable. Uh, there's times where that's uh, pretty good. Uh, then he's got uh, Murderous Patriotism. Charge Flurry Plasticity. When he uses it, adjacent friendly character uh, or an adjacent friendly character KOs an opposing character. After resolutions, heal nuke one. So that's pretty good there. Uh, as far as uh, keywords go, uh, aim, Hydra, Thunderbolts, Assassin, Soldier. And uh, yeah, so there he is for 85 points. Uh, running shot, energy explosion, six range little target. Uh, he's okay, not great. 85 points feels a little steep for 17, if I'm being honest. Uh, next up is Power Man. Here we are. That's what he looks like. Uh, he has the um, 
uh, emiss uh, emissaries of evil, lethal legion, masters of evil, uh, bolts and masters, um, trait. Uh, and then he's got this uh, thing where it's uh, another trait where Power Man takes a maximum of one damage from the first attack that hits him each turn. Um, so that can be pretty good if your opponent's running like a glass cannon team or something where they're only attacking once. Uh, he can take those. Uh, and then he's got um, Impervious on top of that. Uh, so depending on what's going on, this guy can be useful. 65 points. Uh, isn't too bad uh, a lot of 17 defenses in this set for how high the attack values are so not sure what's up with that but uh master of team ability isn't bad uh, like you can see with a, a heavy object this guy can deal out six for 65 point character that's not bad at all uh next we have peggy carter so here she is uh this is i believe a sculpt the reuse from uh Nick Fury, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, we're seeing a lot of that in this set. Um, I have mixed emotions about it. The the rares from Nick Fury, Agent, or the, the super rares from that set being used as rares in this set, I kind of like because it ups those. But like reusing the commons, uh, I don't know. I mean, unless they're going to figure out a way to to dazzle me with, with them doing that, like lower the price of a booster or something like that, I don't know. And they didn't do that. Uh, so here she is. With uh, Howling Commando, Shield Pass, Soldier Spy keywords. Stealth, Improved Movement ignores um, hindering, and Improved Targeting ignores hindering. Then she's got this uh, special where it's sidestep. Characters can't draw a line of fire to Peggy Carter until she is adjacent to another character. At the beginning of your turn, you may deal Peggy Carter in one click. Uh, reason why you want to do that is uh, because you get her in a position on click one, which is basically an activation click. Then you uh, push to click two where um she's got actually a pretty healthy uh attack and damage value there uh, and then she's got that stealth so that you're probably going to get that 19 defense and then uh shield team ability this one's really good uh for common uh if i was using her in shield and in, in sealed <laughs> shield if i was using her in sealed um i'd probably use her uh if for no other reason the outwit but for 40 points she's got healthy attack and damage also uh, next up is Isaiah Bradley. So looking good there. Shield looks crisp. And again, like the last couple sets, paint applications on mine have been generally pretty good. Uh, so uh, here's Isaiah Bradley. Past Soldier Keywords has that Living Legend trait, which is uh, shared with Cap and Peggy Carter and a few others, where uh, once he's KO'd, uh, he's not KO'd. You, roll, you turn him to his last click, roll D6, heal him half, and then uh, that's it. Uh, so that's pretty good. And then he's got Defend and Toughness as a special on his defense. Uh, 60 points. Uh, he's a close combat beat stick. Um, so really, for 60 points, you can get... Uh, that's 5, and we'll say we can add a potential 3 more to get him up to 8 clicks. Uh, if you do good with that, that's not bad. Um and power depends on what else you have on your team uh soldier keywords usable uh with him uh next up is a rare uh this is minotaur we have looked at him for the uh pre uh the the previews for the, the pre-release stuff uh so uh he's a, he's not bad i want uh probably three of them uh, so animal brute monster keywords all those are good improved movement uh, ignores hindering destroys blocking he's got this uh, trait which is uh, this game opposing characters uh, opposing players can't use location bonuses uh, but they can use constellation bonuses instead that to me is pretty powerful considering uh, how many bonuses are floating around out there uh, that people they don't flat out rely on them but it definitely helps their team uh, then he's got this uh, other special where he's charged, uh, he has charge and he modifies attack and damage by X, where X is the piece of blocking terrain. Uh, he moved through and destroyed this action. Uh, so really for 50 points, you can have a 13 attack, 6 damage um, character. Uh, for 50 points, to me, that's really good on, on the correct map. Um, like uh, the Star Trek underground map, the regular underground map, which uh, just today is getting retired, February 1st. So uh, rip for that one. But uh, you still have plenty of options with this guy. Hedge Maze, 
uh, if you wanted to go outdoor. Uh, but this guy's definitely good. I would suggest at least trying to get one. I could see a, th a reason to have three of them. So that's why I'm trying to get three of them. But uh, definitely a good pool for that one. Next one's Pepper Pots. I think this is a re-sculpt too. Although there's only so many, so many ways you can do... Um, kind of like bystander -y type care, like non-main heroes. Um, but still pretty decent. I like the purple. Um, so she's an uncommon. Uh, she's got uh, this uh, trait, which is uh, proof that Tony Stark has a heart. Once per turn for all characters with this trait, when a friendly character named Iron Man makes an attack, you may roll a one or two... Uh, rolls an attack, you may roll a one or a two if... The reroll is a six. Heal both Pepper Pots and that Iron Man one click. When a friendly Iron Man, when a friendly character named Iron Man makes an attack, you may roll reroll a one or a two. Okay, if the reroll is a six, and there you go. Now that I'm reading it right, it makes a lot more sense. Uh, so it's sort of like a um, a one die prob, which is pretty cool. Um, we like that. Uh, Twenty five points gets you perplex, which is decent. Then she's got outwit. Plus, she's got that special Avengers Stark Industry, so Stark Industry gets another uh, nice supporter. Stark Industry is actually shaping up to be a pretty good um, keyword, uh, and Avengers just keep getting stronger with low low costed perplexes and stuff like that. So, uh, next is I don't know how you say this guy's name, Alexander Lucan. Uh, so looks like a uh, bearded guy with uh, a. a coat um so here he is hydra power elite politician ruler uh plus 10 trait uh which is a man of two minds during force construction you may include a character named red skull on your sideline at the beginning of your turn roll d6 four three six you may choose a standard power printed on red skull's card until your next turn uh, alexander lucan can use the chosen power if alexander lucan would be ko'd by an opponent's attack, instead replace him with that Red Skull on its last non-KO click. That character can't be healed uh, this game. So that's pretty cool there. Uh, we've seen this trait uh, before on the previewed uh, Piggy Carter uh, Ultra Chase. Then he's got another one called Inheritance, which is leadership when determining theme team. Uh, friendly characters named Winter Soldier don't count against theme team. So that's pretty cool there. Then Power Elite, which is... Uh, the power actions of opposing characters within X squares are double power actions instead of uh, instead X's number friendly characters power elite keyword with different names. Uh, so this is kind of like a uh, team ability without being a team ability. I like it. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Power elite seems like it's a decent keyword even though this is the first time it showed up in the, the set. Uh, so that's cool there. Uh, anytime you can make uh, power actions, double power actions, uh, really slows down the economy of an opponent's uh, team. Next up, we have Happy Hogan. Looking pretty pretty cool there. So just a guy in a suit. Um, so here is Happy's thing. I'm a driver. I'm the driver. Passenger 2 and may carry characters with the flight symbol. When a friendly character named Iron Man is given a move action and carries Happy, after resolutions you may give Happy Hogan a, an action token to remove an action token from that Iron Man. So basically he can be taxied for free, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, and he can taxi. Uh, he's got that 10 movement. Uh, so basically you're able to leapfrog down the field uh, a lot better. Uh, and then uh, you've got this... Um, 10 movement with stealth, uh, 1 damage with close combat expert. So you can do stuff for 20 points. Not bad. Another Stark Industry and Avenger that's cheap. So a 20 point Avenger taxi. Um, I could definitely see trying to run two of them to do that. Um, next, we have the Industrial Spy, which is another guy in a suit, although it's a fancier suit. So pretty cool there. Um... And he has the aim, hammer industries, hydra, and spy keywords. Has uh, stealth, improved movement, and targeting, ignore stealth. Uh, he has uh, outwit. When industrial spy uses it and chooses only standard powers, he 
You can use the chosen powers until your next turn. If the target character has the armor, robot, hammer industries, Stark industries, or vehicle keyword, uh, can use uh, can choose two powers instead of one. So that's pretty cool there. Next up, we have Citizen V. Pretty cool there. Uh, this is the rare version. Uh, so here we are with Thunderbolts, V Battalion, Police, Politician, Soldier, Keywords. Assemble Bolts and Masters trait. Has another trait with Leadership and Leap Climb. Uh, last trait is Charge. Sidestep when Citizen V uses it for a close attack. After resolutions, remove an action token from a friendly character, including herself. That's adjacent to the target. Uh, we saw this figure previewed. Uh, so you know what it is from that. Uh, pretty decent uh, close combat attacker there. Next is Dr. Faustus. Uh, not as good as regular Faust, but uh, you know, and there he is. Um, he's got the uh, Hydra, Skeleton, Crew, and Scientist keywords. Has a trait, which is uh, Mind Control Stealth. When Dr. Faustus uses Mind Control, after resolutions, deal two penetrating damage to each character that he hit that KO'd another character this action. Uh, so, souped up Mind Control is always good. 45 points, Hydra keyword, uh, 11 attacks. You're pretty likely to hit with Mastermind, stuff like that. Uh, this guy, I, I don't know that I'd spend 45 points on that. That's We got better Mind Controllers out. Uh, next, we've got Singularity. I like the Translucent Blue. Um, she has one trait, uh, it's Assembled Avengers, so it's the, uh, plus three, plus six. And, uh, basically she's a hundred points. All right, so really what you're trying to do with Singularity and Sealed is, uh, you know, while you might want to keep her on, uh, those first couple clicks because she's durable, she doesn't really have movement attack. So if you don't have TK, uh, you're trying to push her to, uh, click three, four, five, or six. Uh, for more movement, she's got that 18 defend, which is really going to help a lot of people. Um, when I played uh, somebody with her, I just took her down hard and fast. Uh, there was no playing around. I didn't want her to get on hypersonic speed. There's not a lot of it in this set, or at least not in the lower rarities. So uh, definitely, if you see her, make sure that you're blowing through those last couple. Uh, otherwise, you're dealing with a hypersonic figure, uh, which you probably don't want to do. Uh, Something else I pulled was a second Peggy Carter, which we uh, looked at, and then we pulled this very awesome looking Chase Doctor Strange, which still flabbergasts me at how good this looks in hand. Um, can't really do it justice, but uh, paint application on my particular example is spot on 100% uh, what I would want for a Chase figure. Uh, this is what the little marker looks like. So pretty cool there. Uh, not doing a super deep dive on this guy. Uh, basically, it's the uh, you can have the portal marker and you can uh, move it around. And anybody that's adjacent to it uh, can use um, adjacent to it or in it can use uh, phasing teleport speed plus two. Uh, that's okay. It's not great. This is probably one of the weaker chases, if I'm being honest. This is like in the second tier. There's like a tier one that has. Um, you know, like Thor, Ultron, and then uh, like Tier 2 that has uh, Ultra Strange, uh, uh, Doctor Strange, Namor, Ghost Rider, stuff like that. Uh, like, they're all good, but there's definitely two tiers of them. And then this other one where he has Super Senses Defend, and if somebody uh, is using his thing for Defend, they can either do their Defense plus one or minus one. Only reason I can think you'd do minus one would be uh, for support roles. Um, and there he is with... Uh, an 18 up front with prob uh for three damage telekinesis this is a good support guy for 75 points you can see he gets that defense on the back so that's why i'm saying it's probably for support or yeah because you can see he has support on those clicks too so try trying to drive them down to a 16 uh, but you could get them as high as a 19 or an 18 with the defend which is good uh, then he's got running shot uh, on those middling clicks there uh, so you know he's he's pretty good uh, you know, he's, he's a nice support guy on click one, and then if you have to uh, get him off click two, you've got uh, more aggressive stuff you can do there. So uh, definitely really happy I pulled this one. You guys let me know uh, which figures you like um, after seeing this video. Always interested 
in reading that stuff. Uh, I'm really happy with what I got. Uh, so you guys let me know, too, if you played in pre-release, uh, if you played any of these figures, what you thought of them. Always enjoy reading that stuff. That's all I have for you guys today. As always, please remember this uncritical mess if you don't have probability control.